All right, guys, here we go. Back in the woods, 2024 MRA Ghost and Goblins Poker Run. Well, here we go. Our first poker run. Oh, here we go. Yeah, kind of funny. I've lived here my whole life. This is my first poker run. Right with my buddy Josh. And this is kind of how the day went. Stay left down there, dude. Yup. So we started out on A course. And it did rain significantly overnight. It made everything pretty slippery. I'm not really an A course kind of guy anyhow, so the rain definitely had me questioning whether this was a smart move or not. Many of you will know if you watch any of my videos, I am not a, a technical rider. I'm fast and slowly, that's what I like to do. I'm doing as fast as I can go. So I'm out of my comfort zone right off the right off the bat here. Plus with the stop and go traffic a lot of people out here um, it, it takes me a while to warm up and it's really hard for me to get warm and get a flow going on the bike when you're really not not moving very far if you know what i'm saying yeah i'm up here for a good time uh, josh is much better at this stuff than i am much better at the slow technical stuff and the, the hill climbing type stuff I just try to survive it as best I can. I'll be honest with you, I'm a little nervous or anxious. There's a lot of people out here. You don't want to be that guy who's holding up the whole line because you can't make it up an obstacle. The first bigger hill climb, it's not too bad. Plenty of traction. Roots aren't too bad. It's a pretty good hill climb though. A little hung up there, but we keep returning. And then you get into this. Stopping on a hill. You do successfully navigate that section. On to the next. I'm not really sure why everybody's parked here. I guess they're taking a break or I, I don't know what's going on. I you said first poker run, I have no idea what I'm doing. There's Johnson siding. He's gonna show me the way up this hill. The line to take. That was actually much appreciated. struggling with the clutch on this bike a little bit I, uh, I don't know it's got fairly new plates and in it but it just feels really notchy on and off and it's really always felt that way the hydraulic clutches I don't I don't jive with that well I think but I need to take a good look at the clutch basket make sure it's not notched out because I just feel like I can't get in that friction zone very well And it's, there's probably nothing wrong with it, it's probably good. But even my 450, 
with the hydraulic clutch on it, I just feel like I can't, I don't know, it's just hard for me to find that point where it's in between on and off. This is still A-course, and we are, I'm enjoying the single track, it's fun, it's slippery up here, it's pretty, pretty slick. First, uh, weather ride of the season. See, I'm already missing the trail. This is why Josh needs to leave, because he's much better at this one. I even struggle with this little section here. But like I said, I was definitely a little out of my comfort zone. A little nervous. Even though, you know, they make it very clear. They make it very clear this is not a race, but... I just have kind of a racer mentality where going fast is what I want to do and you don't want to be the guy holding the guy up behind you. So But trust me, I was struggling all day. I wasn't really holding anybody. I wasn't really going fast. I was probably the guy holding everybody up. But it was a pretty chill chill crowd. We were all struggling in, in spots. Chris made it real clear that this wasn't a, a true a course. There was a lot of up and down vertical climbs. Yeah. And with know. the rain, it made it even tougher. So. <laughs> there we were in a traffic jam. Lots of people up here, though. Got to be great for the club. It's got to generate some money. I have no idea what happened here, but I am struggling. There just wasn't any traction. I was, running, I was running a Dunlop MX-53, which probably wasn't the tire, the best tire choice, but it's what I had on the bike, and I really have come to like this tire. I think I was running about 9 PSI in it, and I should have dropped it down more for these conditions, especially with the slower riding we were doing. Front tire, front tire was great because the moose in there is way too old and needs to be yarded out of there, so it's pretty soft. I actually had to be uh, a little careful with it. I really kind of wanted to come back and take a shot at eight course before they took the ribbons down. I think it would be really fun to just go with a couple buddies and hit it. Especially if you can get it dried out a little bit. But with the traffic and all the, the bottlenecks, it just made it hard to get into a rhythm. And like I said, it, it's just uncomfortable when you have 80 guys behind you wanting to hit the hill and you were just kind of hoping you could make it to the top. Yeah, a lot of waiting around. But I, I think that's just the way poker runs are. Everybody's just out kind of for a little trail ride. And... and I just want to go fast, so. Yeah. Josh keeps trying to talk to me. Hey, how we doing? And I'm just like, like I said, I was a little anxious. This hill climb doesn't look like much, but there's a lot of loose rock at the bottom, and it doesn't take much to be thrown off your line, and you're, you're really screwed getting up the rest of it. So. Don't get me wrong, I know what type of skills I have, but... Uh, yeah, it's... I don't know, it was kind of nerve-wracking, you know, that... Maybe I don't know what kind of skills I have. See, the trail goes to the right here, but I could tell people were bypassing that because so many people were having trouble. So I definitely followed the bypass route.
this is probably as close to a hardened duro as I will ever do, and I know that this is nowhere near a hardened duro compared to most people, what most people would think. But for me, this is testing me. In stopping on hills, I, I just, I've never been good at climbing hills. I've always been a momentum guy. And as soon as I lose that momentum, just even mentally, I know that I'm screwed. Just makes it really tough for me to get going again. Yeah, I've got buddies, even Josh, he can he can stop on a hill and just slip the clutch and get it going again without much problem and I just I seem to really struggle with that. Something I should probably be working on. But it's funner just to find a fast flowy trail and just rip on it. So that's the type of racing I do, that's the type of riding I do. Yeah, I just gotta keep working on my skills. And a lot of this is where you just come around a corner and there's somebody stuck. And again, with being a momentum guy, it just it just makes it almost impossible for you. You know, Josh kind of waited down at the bottom before he can attempt to get up there, and that's what I should have done. But obviously, I did not. The old 2019 KTM 250XC got a workout in this one. Again, I have no idea what's going on. Everybody stops, so I stop because I don't know if we're waiting in line to go up, go up the hill or what. I think guys were just pulling over to take a break or wait for their buddies or whatever. I'm just kind of learning as I go, poker and stuff. Hopefully everyone bought hands, signed up. I know that a lot of guys will just come up and ride the course without uh, paying to play, I guess. Which is fair enough, there's no, no law against that. Oh, man down. This is the hill that takes me off a course. But yeah, it's only, it doesn't cost much to sign up and do this stuff. And it just helps the club out. It helps the MRA continue to upgrade the trails and put work in, so. You know, that's the biggest reason that, that's why they throw these poker runs really is to uh, get some fundage. And a lot of people showed up, so hopefully they, they won on that one. A lot of hard work was put into making these trails, and we really appreciate them. Uh, they did a great job on them. They were obviously, a course especially, with the traffic and the rain was more than I could handle. So thanks to the crews that did all that. Here we go, my attempt at this hill has been catching everybody. I thought it was clear. This would have been the preferred line, the one that the guy was stuck in, just because it wasn't quite as rooty. And I obviously do not get past there. I'm trying to do the old seat bounce trick here and get over all the rest of the loops. You can't really see. It's not working. I think I sat here for probably 10 minutes. 80 guys behind me want to go up this hill. And it was just a, it was a struggle. I think if you could get a clean clean run at it with nobody stuck on it, and no offense to the guy that was stuck on it, because I'm obviously just as stuck on it. It was a tricky hill. It was slick. And not much traction. You can hear the I mean, revving the bike up, trying to push it up the hill. I've literally gone maybe five feet. Now you can see the bike is unhappy with me. Maybe another five feet I've made it so far. I'm just not getting anywhere. And I'm not even digging holes, it's just, there's, there's just not much traction. Every root and rock that your back tire hits just 
stops your momentum. So I'm going to bow out. What's going to happen? Huh? I'm literally pushing the lights up the hill. The seat bounce trick and all that. None, none of us were. There were a couple guys. There was a guy in the start party that was able to walk his bike up past me. That was pretty good. Yeah, I bow out. Josh kept trying. He, uh, I thought he made it up, but it sounded like he ended up turning around and coming back down the hill as well. Like I said, I think if you could get a clean run at that, you'd be fine. Um, if just you and a couple buddies were hitting it or whatnot. But with the, the wet conditions and people stuck on the hill and me being a momentum guy, it just, yeah, it just wasn't working out for me. That was it for A-Course for me as well. I'm bowing out of A-Course. I'm jumping on B-Course because that wore me out uh, significantly. And that, I'm out for, for fun and if I'm doing all the work and the bike, you know, if I'm pushing the bike up the hill, that's really not fun for me. So I'm going to try to do something different. I think Josh was cool with it. I think he kind of wanted to stay in A-Course and I totally get it. But I just didn't. I don't have those skills. barely have the skills for B-Course. I think this is checkpoint two, getting another, getting another card drawn. I should have shown how that all went down, but I didn't. Kind of neat. So uh, meet up with my buddy Paul, and he jumped into our group, meet Josh and Paul, cruising around. Dirt bike riding, trail riding. This is all B course, and this is good stuff. I, I enjoy this, you know, where it's not too technical, where you're struggling. The struggling just isn't fun for anybody. Go with the leaves and the rocks. I mean, you still got to pay attention. This is no thing like riding on the bike path. Or And I'm only going to say this once, the camera doesn't do justice for how steep these are. Some of these are pretty steep. The leaves covering up all the rocks and all the obstacles made it, you know, kind of technical, but... I'm trying to build this up a little bit so it doesn't sound like I'm a complete sissy for that one on the But I'm having fun! And my stress level is way down because I don't feel like I'm going to be the guy holding everybody up. Here comes Paul. He's riding a 24 kicks or 50, same bike that I have at home. Uh, he, he did really well on this thing. I was it was impressive to see how well the 450 did. He's braver than I am. I I'd much rather be up here on the KTM, but I was impressed with how how well that thing did, especially in the faster stuff, which I guess you'd expect it to be good math. Once you get off A course and hop on B course, A course where I was the guy holding everybody up, B course, a little different, a lot of different skill sets out here on B course. So it was, again, I like to ride fast and they were very clear this was not a race. So I'm trying to enjoy myself by riding fast, but you quickly run up on some, some slower riders, for lack of a better term, different skill sets, younger kids. You know, family stuff, which is awesome. I love to see it. So, you uh, have to check up. Yeah, it was just, it was a different, like I said, first boat run. I, di I didn't know what to expect. I knew it was going to be trail riding. 
Yeah. It was different. That was fun. Good. Would I do it again? I, I don't know. I'm more apt to just buy a couple t shirts and donate some money or something and maybe do something different. I think we just missed the trail right there. I mean, it was fun getting out there and meeting some new people, and there were a ton of people up here, so that was cool. We missed the we missed the trail. Missed it? Yeah. Missed but, it? What are we on now? I don't know. It'll it'll catch back up up here. We probably shouldn't go backwards. Again, I have no idea what I'm talking about. This is why I should not have been here. Just keep going this way. So I think it'll catch up somewhere, and, and it doesn't. So we go up here a little ways, and we turn. <laughs> but yes, if you've never done a poker run, I recommend you at least give it a shot. Here we're getting back on trail. But it, it was a good experience. It was fun overall. Josh ended up having some bike problems with his TPI. He's got a tank case pressure sensor that he has trouble with. So he ended up bowing out a little bit early. He didn't miss out on too much. But Paul and I finished off the course. I actually had a pretty good time. We were able to, to rip in some sections. Yeah, it's fun. Woo! This is way funner. Yeah, I'm having a little more fun. Of course, not that long. Like I said, you can get a little clean air every once in a while and get to kind of go a little bit faster. Always using caution because you knew that there were lots of people up here. You know, the good thing about it was typically you didn't have to worry about somebody going the wrong direction. But you never know. So. I'm not really shredding here, I'm just kind of in a comfortable pace, having some fun. Really a great day to ride dirt bikes. I really enjoy riding in these conditions, in the rain, in the slick, that stuff's fun to go out for a play ride. I don't enjoy racing in these conditions, because, I don't know, I'm, like I said, I lack skills. So when you end up with bottlenecks, I end up not being good at that stuff. And I hate it when a race comes down to who can get through a bottleneck the fastest. I mean, it's part of racing, but generally the type of racing I do, you don't have a, they don't build a lot of bottlenecks into the sections, which is awesome. So it's just frustrating to get stuck on the hill behind other people when you're racing, you're stuck in a rut, lose positions just because you're not as aggressive ever as everybody else is or whatever. I don't know. I guess I'm kind of rambling at this point. What am I talking about? I've been rambling the whole time. And it is so choppy, dude. The camera, again, just not doing it justice. I know it sounds like I don't have the clutch in a lot, but I do have the Woo! clutch in.
This guy's throttle stuck and he just launched it off the side of the hill here. He was okay, but... Man, it was... I, I saw the whole thing. It's crazy. So Josh has dropped out at this point. He's me and Paul. This is trail one. We're just going to go have some fun. Well, that's the other thing I wanted to mention. You may notice I don't have my wrist brace on. I forgot to put my wrist brace on when I was getting ready to head out. And so it's sitting in the van. And that was kind of a bummer. Because my wrist took a pretty good pounding. Even from a mental standpoint, not having it on. Was messing with my head a little bit. Yeah, that was a bummer. Shout out to Mobius Braces. Giving me some discounts. Just being awesome and making a great product. Yeah, this section of throw was really fun. Onto the granite side a little bit. Um, there's actually pretty good traction in this granite when it's wet. As opposed to the other side of the hill that was it's real dirt, but it was it was really slippery. Yeah, I really don't like the granite in the summertime when it's hot and dry. It's, it's like riding on marbles. But I probably feel more comfortable in the granite because I spend more time on the side. Because it during the winter it sheds water a little better. Look at me, I act like I know what I'm talking about. I, I really have no idea. It seems to shed water better. But you will get some water puddling up in the puddles, but typically it just runs off, takes half the granite with it, yeah. and makes a big rut. But... Okay. Yeah, I'm going pretty good here, and I was kept checking to see if Paul was still back there, and I could hear that 450. He was all over me. He was riding really well on this stuff, too. I could see the 450 being pretty good in this stuff. Basketball and stuff, soaking up bumps. Yeah, Paul can ride. It was fun. There's lots of this too where you'd catch up to a slower group in front of you. It was always a dad and his kid or, or whatever, but they were having a great time. This little guy in this KX85, I think it's an 85. Doing pretty good. Uh, having a small wheel up here and some of these bumps and holes and roots and rocks. I don't know how the kids do it. I mean, pretty impressive. Pretty cool to see. This guy was doing a great job. after another checkpoint back on the trail seven section of trail seven pretty familiar with this trail
kind of mentioned it a little bit earlier. I'm not really sure about uh, trail etiquette, so to speak. Obviously, this isn't a race. We're very clear of that. So, I'm trying not to pass much or do any, I, I don't know, any rev bombs, so to speak, that you would all do in racing. Or try to let people know you're there and get them to pull over or whatnot. So, yeah, there were until people pulled over for you, you just kind of waited behind them. That's what I did. I didn't want to make anybody feel like I was breathing down their neck or anything. All this stuff was really fun. I really enjoyed this section. I know I mentioned it a little bit earlier, but, but yeah, the trail crew did a great job coming up with trails for us to ride and putting all the, the ribbon up. And there's a ton of work involved in setting up one of these events. So, yeah, big shout out to them. Just to touch a little bit on the poker side of this thing. I really didn't know what was going on with that. I'm not really a card player at all. I don't know much about poker. I know a little bit. I've been around, but I ended up not even, you know, we got done. We started a little after 10, 10.30, something like that. And we rode, I think we got back to the truck 12.30, 1 o'clock. Somewhere around there, I was loaded up by 1.30, I think. They were gonna start the drawing around 2.30 was the plan, which probably meant closer to three. But I was a little tired, so I kind of I kind of bowed out of that. And just uh, ended up going home. Hopefully somebody won some great prizes up there. There were a lot of a lot of companies that donated prizes. Yeah, that's really cool. Much appreciated. But like I said, I, I kind of bowed out of that and ended up going home. Tired. Kind of ready to Get something to eat. Call it a day. But yeah, there were guys that had bought a bunch of hands, you know, they give themselves a chance of doing the and all that. I think that's awesome. That all goes back to the all that money goes back to the MRA guys, so good stuff. Yeah, maybe I'd do another poker run. I, I don't know. Not opposed to. But I know the prospect was really good today too. But anyhow, I think I've chatted for just about long enough on this one. So if you watch this far, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Until the next one, I'm out.